Today I'll be going over GCSE Biology and I'll be focusing on a few tests. So I'll be covering the basic structure of carbohydrates, proteins and lipids. So I'll be going, off with going on to carbohydrates now. So carbohydrates provides us with fuel that makes all the other reactions of the life possible. All carbohydrates are made up of units of sugars and carbohydrates include bread, rice, pasta and potatoes. Most carbohydrates are broken down into gl glucose to provide energy. Carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And carbohydrates can either be simple sugars, which are carbohydrates that contain only one sugar unit, for example glucose, or two sugar units joined together, for example sucrose. Or they can either be complex carbohydrates, made up of long chains of simple sugar units all bonded together, for example starch or cellulose. Lipids. Lipids are fats, which are examples of solids, and they are also oils, which are examples of liquids, and they are an important so source of energy in your diet. Lipids are insoluble in water. Lipids contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Lipids are made by three molecules of fatty acids and one molecule of glucose. Glycerol, sorry. The glycerol is always the same and the fatty acids vary. Proteins. Proteins is used for building up the cells and tissues of your body as well as the basis of all your enzymes. 15 to 60 percent of all your body mass is protein. Proteins include meat, fish and cheese. Proteins contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Proteins have many jobs in your body, for example, hormones and an example of hormones is insulin. Enzymes, which act as a catalyst. They are made up, they made up tissues and antibodies. A protein molecule is made up of long chains of small units called amino acids and there are around 20 different types of amino acids. Here's a food test food test table and you can pause this when you like thank you everyone for watching my video bye